Welcome back to Red Recapped. Today I'm going to describe an thriller crime movie called, The Informer, released in 2019. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The Informer follows the journey of Pete Coslow, a former soldier who's now working as an FBI informant. His task is to infiltrate a Polish criminal organization, going undercover as a drug dealer. His ultimate goal? To gather enough evidence to bring down the kingpin of this criminal empire, Richard Klimek. In close collaboration with his FBI handler, Special Agent Erica Wilcox, Pete hatches a meticulous plan. They decide to set up a sting operation targeting Klimek, complete with a substantial load of smuggled drugs passing through the Polish consulate. To maintain constant intel, Pete is equipped with a hidden listening device, allowing the FBI to monitor every move and conversation. As the plan unfolds, the next day arrives. Pete, accompanied by Stasek, Klimek's right-hand man, retrieves the concealed drugs. With the illicit cargo in hand, they make their way to Klimek's presence. Simultaneously, Erica and her FBI team stand poised for action, awaiting Pete's signal to initiate the meticulously planned ambush operation. The tension in the air is palpable, as both sides play their parts in this high-stakes game of cat and mouse. The success of this operation hinges on Pete's ability to maintain his cover and deliver the critical evidence needed to bring down the formidable criminal empire. The story is a thrilling dance of deception, danger, and calculated risks, with Pete at the heart of it all, straddling the line between loyalty and duty. As they progressed, Stasek abruptly veered off course, claiming he'd spotted a potential buyer for the drugs. He insisted on making the sale, leaving Pete powerless to intervene for fear of blowing his cover. Meanwhile, Erica's concern escalated as Pete's actions strayed further from their meticulously laid plans. When Pete finally met the supposed buyer, he swiftly deduced that the man was an undercover police officer, poised to make an arrest. Desperate to prevent a killing, Pete attempted to divert the officer's attention, but the situation soured rapidly. Frustrated, the officer revealed his badge to all present. In an instant, Stasek responded with lethal force, ending the officer's life. As gunshots pierced the air, Erica, hearing the grim outcome, had no choice but to abort the ambush mission, withdrawing her troops and leaving Pete in a perilous situation. The operation had spiraled into chaos, leaving Pete exposed and isolated, with the weight of an unforeseen tragedy bearing down on him. The meticulously crafted plan had unraveled in a shocking turn of events, leaving both Pete and Erica grappling with the aftermath. Pete finds himself in a grim situation, facing Klimek's ire for the disastrous turn of events. Klimek shifts blame onto Pete for jeopardizing his drug empire due to the officer's death. This places Pete in a dire predicament, he's coerced into taking responsibility by running Klimek's drug operations from behind bars to salvage what's left. Initially, Pete vehemently denies being the one who killed the officer. Yet, Klimek resorts to the most chilling form of coercion, threatening harm to Pete's wife and daughter should he refuse to comply. Faced with this heart-wrenching ultimatum, Pete reluctantly acquiesces, knowing the safety of his family hangs in the balance. Meanwhile, Stasek and his associates dispose of the officer's body in the river, erasing any trace of the grim incident. Shortly thereafter, Pete rendezvous with Erica and her superior, Keith Montgomery, at a clandestine location. Here, Erica unveils the plan, Pete will continue to serve as an FBI informant from within the confines of the prison, with the primary objective of dismantling Klimex drug syndicate. In exchange for providing substantial intel and evidence concerning Klimex operations within the prison walls, Pete is promised immediate release. The stakes are higher than ever, as Pete must navigate the treacherous world of incarceration while simultaneously working to bring down the criminal empire that threatens not only his freedom, but the safety of his loved ones. It's a high-stakes game of survival, deception, and redemption, where Pete's every move holds the power to reshape his destiny. The urgency to apprehend the criminal mastermind was palpable at the FBI. Pete, however, felt a surge of bitterness as he grappled with the fact that the agency he once served was now instrumental in placing him behind bars to extract information about the Klimek drug network. Keith, recognizing Pete's turmoil, urged him to consider the safety of his family. It was a stark reminder that Pete couldn't simply evade the consequences of his actions. Meanwhile, Detective Edward Grenz of the NYPD embarked on a relentless pursuit to uncover the truth behind the murder of his undercover officers, who had posed as drug buyers. Suspicion naturally fell upon the Polish Mafia. Edward returned to the crime scene and meticulously combed through CCTV footage, revealing Pete's presence in the vicinity. With this crucial lead in hand, Edward wasted no time in mobilizing his team to delve into Pete's background. As the pieces of Pete's past fell into place, Edward concluded that Pete was the likely perpetrator behind the tragic loss of his men. In swift response, he issued a warrant for Pete's arrest, 
marking him as the prime suspect in the murder of an undercover police officer on a mission. The wheels of justice were set into motion, hurtling both Pete and Edward toward an inevitable collision. After Pete's arrest, Edward seeks out Erica and Keith, learning of Pete's current role as an FBI informant. He surmises that the FBI intentionally placed Pete behind bars as part of an operation related to the murder of his men. Despite his probing, neither Erica nor Keith divulge any further details about their mission to apprehend the drug lord Klemek, and they deny any knowledge of the murder of Edward's officers. Unfazed, Edward resolves to uncover the truth himself. Driven by determination, he is resolute in his quest to unmask those responsible for the loss of his men. Within the confines of the prison, Pete is promptly greeted by members of the Klemek drug network, who are poised to assist him in distributing narcotics within the prison walls. However, Pete is under constant scrutiny by a vigilant prison warden named Sluit, who has harbored suspicions about Pete's activities since the outset of his incarceration. The following day, Pete sets his plan into motion, discreetly passing drugs from one prisoner to another in the utmost secrecy, evading the watchful eyes of the prison guards. The operation teeters on a knife's edge, with every move calculated to avoid detection. Pete navigates this perilous dance, acutely aware of the risks that come with his new role as both informant and operator within the prison's intricate web of alliances and rivalries. The day unfolded with a surprising surge in sales, yielding a substantial profit for Pete and his associates. Their operation was evidently thriving. Meanwhile, Edward took a different approach in his quest for answers. He paid a visit to Pete's wife, Sophia, hoping to unearth any potential leads related to Pete's case. Despite Edward's assurances that he could help secure Pete's release, as he firmly believed in Pete's innocence, Sophia remained reticent. Pete had warned her not to trust anyone else, leaving her hesitant to divulge any information. Unable to compel Sophia to speak, Edward left her his business card, urging her to reach out if she ever needed assistance. Subsequently, he sought a means of communication with Pete within the prison, enlisting the help of an inmate who served as his informant. At the FBI headquarters, tensions were running high. Keith, Recognizing the threat posed by Edward's ongoing investigation, issued a drastic order to Erica, eliminate Pete and halt all missions aimed at apprehending Klemek. The fear was that if Edward and the NYPD discovered that they possessed crucial information regarding the officer's murder, both their careers and freedom would be in jeopardy, potentially leading to incarceration. The stakes continued to escalate, with loyalties tested and dangerous secrets looming large. The fate of Pete, Edward, and the intricate web of conspiracies intertwined with the Klemek drug network hung in precarious balance. The relentless pursuit of truth and justice would determine their ultimate destinies. Inside the prison, Pete faces a menacing figure named Phelps, the reigning kingpin of the drug trade within the walls. Phelps takes offense at Pete's audacity in encroaching on his territory to sell drugs. Backed by the corrupt Sluit, they subject Pete to brutal torture with the intention of ending his life. In a desperate bid to survive, Pete discloses his true identity as an undercover FBI informant, tasked with dismantling Klemek's drug operation. This revelation stops Phelps in his tracks. Pete seizes this moment and implores Phelps for assistance in uncovering any individuals connected to Klemek's drug network, a request to which Phelps readily agrees. Simultaneously, Erica, unbeknownst to Pete's recent revelation, had already set in motion a plan to have him eliminated within the prison. However, Pete's vigilant nature had him prepared for such an eventuality, keeping a knife within arm's reach for self-defense. With valuable information in hand from Phelps about the Klemek drug network, Pete promptly reaches out to Erica. He lays out the critical details, emphasizing the urgency of his release from prison. The operation teeters on a knife's edge, with Pete's survival and the pursuit of justice hanging in the balance. The race against time intensifies, as Pete and Erica navigate the perilous path to bring down Klemek's criminal empire. As Keith's order to halt the mission and terminate Pete hung in the air, Erica remained silent, unwilling to carry out the directive. With the FBI now rendered powerless, Pete reached out to Edward, laying bare the intricate web of deceit and danger surrounding Klemek's drug network. In a pivotal move, Pete contacted his wife Sophia, urging her to hand over an audio recording of his conversation with Erica, a precaution he'd taken in anticipation of a moment like this. This evidence would serve as a crucial tool for law enforcement. Meanwhile, word reached Klemek that Pete's collaboration with Phelps had gone awry in prison. In retaliation, Klemek commanded Stasek and his henchmen to target Pete's wife and daughter. Panic surged as Sophia spotted the menacing figures outside her home. With urgency in her voice, she called Edward for assistance. As Stasek and his men closed in, Sophia and her daughter were cornered. They were locked in a room, while one of the men doused the house with gasoline, intent on a horrific act of arson. However, Edward, alerted by Sophia's distress call, arrived swiftly and engaged Stasek's men, thwarting their sinister plan. 
the desperate struggle against time and ruthless adversaries intensified, with lives hanging in the balance and the specter of danger ever present. Amid the chaotic struggle to save Sophia and her daughter, Edward suffered a gunshot wound to his leg, prompting a hasty retreat. As Stasek descended, clutching Pete's daughter hostage and poised to strike, Sophia, now freed, acted decisively. She fired a shot, sending Stasek tumbling down the stairs. In the ensuing confrontation, Edward ultimately prevailed, delivering the final blow to Stasek. Back in the prison, the danger escalated. Klimek's order to eliminate Pete within the confines of the prison loomed heavily. As Pete entered his cell, a signal from one of Phelps' associates forewarned him of imminent danger. Panic surged as Pete discovered his knife missing. In a swift turn of events, Pete found himself under attack from a ruthless Polish gangster. Though the struggle was fierce, Pete ultimately managed to subdue his assailant. However, the commotion didn't go unnoticed, drawing the attention of the guards. Pete's predicament grew increasingly perilous, with danger closing in on all sides. The stakes were higher than ever, with Pete and Sophia fighting for their lives against the relentless onslaught orchestrated by Klimek. Meanwhile, Edward's injuries served as a painful reminder of the risks inherent in their pursuit of justice. The battle against a formidable criminal empire raged on, each move fraught with peril and every victory hard won. In a desperate move, Pete resorts to taking Sluit as a hostage, using him as a shield to evade the pursuing prison guards. He swiftly incapacitates Sluit and brings him to the top of the prison tower, a location riddled with pipes and gas cylinders, where he seeks refuge. Meanwhile, Keith and the FBI have the prison surrounded, intent on Pete's demise. Troops are poised, awaiting the command to open fire. Leveraging his past as a sniper in the United States Special Forces, Pete meticulously plans his escape. He strategically positions the gas cylinder to facilitate his getaway. Afterward, he swaps a tire with Sluit and strategically places a CO2 tank behind them. Upon rousing Sluit, Pete orchestrates a scenario where it appears that Sluit is holding him hostage. This tactical move redirects the sniper's focus towards Sluit, providing Pete with a crucial moment to seize his chance at escape. The high-stakes game of wits and survival reaches its zenith, as Pete employs every resource and skill at his disposal to outsmart the encircling threat. As the sniper took aim, Pete made a slight adjustment, causing the bullet to miss him but strike the gas cylinder, triggering a powerful explosion. Shortly after the blast, Erica arrived at the police station. When it came time for Pete to be transported by ambulance, Erica, recognizing him in the guise of the prison warden, stealthily entered the vehicle. In a covert act of support, she surreptitiously handed Pete a gun, enabling him to take control of the situation within the ambulance. Through a ruse, Pete would feign harm to Erica, facilitating his escape. Moments later, Pete's intentions turned towards reuniting with Sophia and their daughter. Yet, he quickly realized the presence of numerous undercover officers surrounding them, poised to apprehend him upon his arrival. In a heart-wrenching decision, Pete understood that, for the safety of his loved ones, he had to distance himself, unable to see his wife and daughter for the time being. The film draws to a close with a scene featuring Erica and Keith engaged in a conversation on a boat. The fate of Pete, the intricacies of their mission, and the lingering echoes of the explosive climax hang in the balance, leaving viewers with a sense of both resolution and lingering questions. With crucial evidence in hand, the NYPD moves to apprehend Keith. Erica's use of wiretaps captures Keith's damning instructions, openly ordering her to eliminate Coslo in a bid to conceal his own misdeeds. In a surprising turn of events, Edward and Erica join forces, setting aside their previous conflicts. Together, they collaborate to extricate Pete from this perilous situation and safeguard his family. United by a shared goal, they navigate the complex web of deceit and danger, working towards a resolution that holds the promise of justice and redemption. That's all from the video. Thanks for watching and take care.